Harper and I study electronic engineering at the University of Glasgow and I'm volunteering here today at the Big Science Sunday birthday party for the Science Festival and um, I've been helping out all day and it's great to see all the kids so enthusiastic about science getting really hands on into all their activities. There's lots of things to encourage them to maybe look into studying it in the future and realising it's not so impossible to do these experiments by themselves and seeing the adults have fun as well and learning something new. There's so many different researchers here today, all showing off their work and it's over such a broad range of subjects. So it's really great to see the vast range of things that are going on. Well, we got to learn about um, plastic, like how, how it can cause, how it's so bad for the environment if you just leave it on the ground and don't pick it up or don't recycle it. But it can be used, it's good, you know, it can be used for like lots of stuff, like it helps us in our life, but if we don't put it in the bin or if we don't recycle it, then it can cause bad things for the uh, sea, uh, wildlife and the sea creatures and all that. I think it's really useful uh, just to kind of get some of hands-on practice explaining things um, to people that are kind of not in, in the field. Um, yeah, and it, it's, it's nice to um, get children really engaged with, with things like diseases. Some of them have been um, really excited to find that um, they've been infected by, by the disease and excited to learn about um, yeah, what we do. So it's just been a really nice day kind of engaging with, with the public. Just so that they're aware of just how much science is just integrated into their daily lives, even as something as boring as baking soda, it has so many uses that you're just completely unaware of. I mean, using it to neutralize things is just one very basic application. I mean, you can defeather a chicken with baking soda, which is one of the more bizarre things that you can do. It's in fireworks as well. Fireworks, yeah. I mean, toothpaste, everything. It's just letting people know that even the simplest things may have a lot more uses than you're aware of. That's just if they can if they can come away from that knowing that, then we've done a good job today. So. <laughs> in September last year, in 2015, we were able to discover uh, gravitational waves for the very first time, which is really cool. It's really good to get people engaged in it and to get people um, like give them a better understanding of, of what actually happens. The, this is particularly good because it, it gives people a, a chance to figure out what actually goes on behind the scenes when you're making these complex measurements and it strips back a lot of the, the complicated jargon and a lot of the complicated maths of it and boils it down to fractions on the whiteboard. It's really good for young people and kids to know what they can do and what possibilities are around science. Um, because quite often, maybe at school, there's sort of your different like biology, chemistry, and physics that's maybe not very exciting. But you don't know that if you do chemistry, you can end up doing sort of conservation like this, or if you do uh, physics, you can end up doing sort of engineering or material science, or you don't really know what you can do from these subjects. So it kind of makes it more tangible. It helps to get them engaged and interested in science, and hopefully then they'll be our future researchers.